Hey guys, a few weeks ago, I made a video comparing my Moleskine tape mod against Painter's tape, and my overall impression of it was that it drew a deeper, dockier sound than Painter's tape. But I was challenged by Keepmat to compare their Keep tape against the Moleskine. So naturally, I got on Google and went to their website and ordered some Keep tape and some mats and waited patiently for them to come in. And here we are. Now I want to take this challenge a little further and do a sound comparison on a keyboard with no tape a sound test with painter's tape, a sound test with moleskin, and lastly, a sound test with key tape. No dampening foam will be used in this video. This is strictly for tape only. I will have all of the sound tests at the end of the video. If you enjoy this type of content, please like and subscribe for more. Moleskin is a thick fabric adhesive that's typically used to protect and prevent blisters. It's soft and malleable, so it adheres well to the PCB. The disadvantage is that it can be harder to cut to size than painter's tape since it is so soft. And now we have Keep Tape, which comes in this nice protective bag. Now this is also my first time using Keep Tape, and apparently they provide enough tape in here to cover any keyboard layout with visual images on the back to notate how it should be assembled based on the keyboard layout. Inside of the bag are two sections, one that holds the main tape piece and the other with secondary strips, which are for other layout styles. Since we are working with a 60% keyboard, we'll go ahead and put this one aside for now. According to the instructions, you need a marker and a scissor to ensure that you mark out any crucial holes or openings on the PCB prior to application. You'll essentially place this large piece over the PCB and start marking any spots that may need to be cut so that there are no obstructions preventing the PCB from being mounted or connected. Luckily for me, the cutouts fit this PCB model perfectly, so I didn't need to mark or cut anything and can get straight to applying the tape. I peeled the tape back slowly to make sure that it didn't get caught up on itself and bunch up. After I applied the tape, I checked the holes to make sure that none were obstructed. After you apply the keep tape, the instructions recommend that you massage the tape onto the PCB so that it's nicely adhered. One thing that stood out for me with the keep tape is the transparency, which means that the keep tape is meant to be compatible with PCBs that have RGB underglow. You really can't get that with painter's tape or moleskin, and it fits perfectly on this board. I have to say this was actually one of the easiest installation out of the three, simply because I didn't have to do any marking or cutting. But your experience will vary based on your PCB and layout. Anyways, let's get on to the sound test. So which one did it for you? Nothing? 
How about Painter's Tape? Moleskin? Or the Keep Tape? Obviously, some tape is better than no tape as it reduces the hollow reverb that the board produces. You really can't go wrong with Painter's Tape, which is a classic and very easy to put on and take off. I found that the moleskin had a deeper duck, while the keep tape had a brighter, distinct pop. Both were very satisfying. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Hey guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this content helpful. I certainly did. Let me know what you think about it down below. And thank you for all of your support.